Comet five times the size of Jupiter set to light up the night sky in April could be brighter than Venus. What's going on, guys? Make Electric. It is Saturday, the 4th of April, 2020. I just listened to Missouri Governor issue a stay-at-home order for the rest of the month for the state of Missouri for the entire state. You know, you got to wonder at the effect if they lock, at the effect that they've locked everybody down all across the country and around the world. You got to wonder, is it all about the coronavirus or is there something else going on? You know, if they knew that a comet or an asteroid was inbound, they couldn't tell the people. It would create widespread panic. You, you would have the rest of civilization would be so uncivilized, you know. So they would need a good cover story if they knew that something like this was coming. I'm not saying it is, just my own speculation. But be advised, first link below, comet five times the size of Jupiter set to light up the night sky. This is Atlas C slash 2019 Y4 Atlas coming right at us. Now, just to put that in perspective, five times the size of Jupiter. Okay, here's Earth over here with our little moon, you know, according to the official story. Here's Jupiter, this big guy here. So five times the size of this coming at us into the inner solar system. I'll put a link to the JPL data as of right now, 4-4-2020 C 2019 Y4 Atlas. There it is. Let's just play this backwards and forwards a couple times as it comes in toward the sun it speeds up comes incredibly close to the earth given its size could the gravity of the earth pull it in i'm not an astronomer i don't know but that's just a little bit too close for comfort for me i'll put a link to the jpl if you guys want to mess around with it you know twist it different ways you can just and and who knows that this is the actual data for all we know it's coming right as this is what nasa has given us to play with you know, like I say, if they knew that something was going to hit the Earth, they would need a good cover story, would they not? Not saying this is so. Just a lot of stories about asteroids right now. I'm going to give you a couple links to go with this. Is this the Naked Eye Comet we've been waiting for? Comet Atlas getting brighter. They got some good stuff here, some videos, and they got some more JPL stuff here from Forbes. Uh, from Fox News, photographer, photographer captures Comet C-19 headed toward Earth. They got some good pictures of this thing. It's supposed to be seen with the Naked Eye here in the coming weeks. I don't know. We've also got other stuff going on. Biggest asteroid to approach in April arriving next week. I believe this is supposed to be, uh, what's the name of this guy? 2004 FG11. This thing's supposed to be closest to the Earth on April 11th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. So uh, just be advised, a lot of asteroid stories. Not saying this is going to be anything, but there's a lot of stories out there. I'll put a link to this JPL, to this rock, 2004 FG11. It's As you can see, it's already. This is as of today's date. So within a couple days, it's going to be incredibly close to the Earth. Not quite on the same plane, but pretty damn close. Again, I'll put a link to this JPL if you want to mess around with it. Is it an asteroid? We've had all kinds of asteroid stories in the news past few weeks, past couple months. Since this coronavirus thing's been going on, asteroid stories have been all over the place. Is it an asteroid? Nigerians question strange explosion. I got an article here, and it might have been an asteroid hit the Earth there. Who knows? They got all kinds of pictures of craters and explosive steam. And I don't know. You know, this whole thing is all wrapping around the same time frame as the Space Force. Maybe the creation of the Space Force was all about comets and asteroids. How do we know? Trump's U.S. Space Force launches its first national security mission. You know, is, is it a communications satellite or some top secret satellite gear? Or is, is it a nuclear bomb aimed at this comet? I don't know. I'll put a link to it. I think it's all strange. IntelliHub's got a great article here. World Lockdown, Brace for Impact, question mark. Did you know that John's, Johns Hopkins University controls COVID-19 case map, as we all know, and they, the trajectory of near-Earth asteroid, near-Earth orbit asteroids and comets? Yes. Pull up the IntelliHub link and scroll down and watch this video. NASA's plan, April 29, 2020, uh, to stop. This is a video from John Hopkins. Check it out. Pull this link up and check this video out. You'd be amazed at what you see. It's amazing. They're controlling the coronavirus data and the data for comets and asteroids. Now, on top of everything else, we've seen a number of high profile of people disappear from the spotlight, saying that they're going into quarantine and all this. All kinds of high up people. People that you would say, no way. No way this person's got coronavirus. I got another link here for you. Netanyahu and much of the top brass in quarantine as health minister gets the virus. So just to throw that on top of all the other high-profile people that have been possibly taken underground. 
Be advised, also, House and Senate will not return to D.C. until April 20th after passing $2 trillion coronavirus stimulus. House and Senate both in recess until April 20th. Is something going to happen on or before the 20th? I have no idea. But we, we've been told 15 days to stop the spread, right? Well, now I guess it's 45 days because Trump extends social distancing guidelines to April 30th. April 30th. All month long. Who knows what's coming in April? Hopefully nothing, but... Do you see how all these dates are coming together here, along with this atlas and these other asteroids and stuff coming in? I'll put a link to all this stuff. And also be advised, I've reported on this in the last Jericho report, NORAD and NORTHCOM both moved personnel to Cheyenne Mountain Bunker. They've all gone, un they've all gone underground. Should you be alarmed? I am. I don't know about you. Very disturbing signs here, but that's all I got for now, guys. Please rate this video. Please pass it around. Make people aware. Again, if there was going to be an impact event, they would need a good cover story. They couldn't just come out and say we're going to get hit by an asteroid or a comet or something. What are your thoughts on all this? You can support me on Patreon or directly with PayPal if you like my work. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Gab, the YouTube community feed. I will be tweeting and sending out information as I think it's important. Stay tuned for another Jericho Report shortly. You guys take care, stay safe, remain vigilant. Who knows what's coming? I will see you on the next one.